just want to smush my face against him. I don't know. Uh, Fang seems pretty drooly to me. I don't think I'd want to put my face anywhere near all that slobber. Oh, they don't mean that. You're perfect just the way you are. If you think he's cute, you should have met Fluffy. Fluffy? Who's Fluffy? Truly special he was. Well, he was three of a kind. Uh, Fluffy was a three-headed dog. I didn't know such a thing existed. Three slobbering faces would mean so much drool. But I'd imagine a three-headed dog would be a great ally in battle. Right you are. Make great guard dogs too. In fact, well, for a while, he was guarding the Philosopher's Stone for Dumbledore. Oh, I read about that. Dumbledore had hidden the Philosopher's Stone within Hogwarts, and had other professors help protect it with charms and challenges. Yep, and Fluffy was the first. It's a shame he's gone. I bet he was super cute and cuddly. Or terrifying. I could just imagine. Expulsor! Expulsor! A pug no! Expulsor! A pug no! Expulsor! Expulsor! Inflatus! A pug no! Inflatus! Three headed dog! Expulso! Inflatus! Expulso! Expulso! Inflatus! Expulso! Inflatus! Expulso! Expulso! Three headed dog! Expulso! Expulso! A pug no! Expulso! 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 Terrifying? Ah, just play him a bit of music and he'd go right to sleep. That's good to know, if I ever encounter one in the wild. Hey, Daniel. Ivy said you were looking for me. Yes, but don't worry, it's good news. I've finally made the perfect potion for Alma. Alma? But you already came up with two brilliant potions for her. What more is there you can do? What if I told you I could turn all eyes on her? She wouldn't just be noticed, she'd be the center of attention. That sounds like a love potion. Are you sure that's a good idea? Oh no, it's not Emotentia, nothing like that. It's perfectly harmless, more like, well, more like a spotlight. When she's on the dance floor, every eye will be on her. They won't be able to look away. That's what she wanted, isn't it? Maybe. To be honest, I'm not sure if she knows what she wants. It could be she's just looking for a few friends, but we can give her this new potion. It might be the answer. Hi, Alma. How's the dance going? Great. Not for me, of course, but everyone else seems to be having a good time. Oh, well, your hair still looks great. I know, but it's just like before. Everybody looks great and stylish and amazing. I can't compete with that. I appreciate you trying to help me, but it doesn't matter what I do or what I change. I'm never going to stand out in this crowd. I mean, look at them, but it's fine. It was silly to think a potion was going to fix everything. And the thing is, I really like to dance. 
Well, that's why I wanted to get noticed in the first place. It's fun. See? It's worse than I thought. I hope I made enough potion. Daniel, wait. I don't think she needs another potion. I think... I think she needs someone to ask her to dance. To dance? You're joking, right? No, I'm serious. I bet she's a great dancer. She just lacks the confidence to get out there on her own. That's why she wants to be noticed. Hmm, maybe. But who's going to ask her? I am. Alma, would you dance with me? Um, okay. But you don't have to do that. Why not? You said you really like dancing, right? Of course, if you don't think you're good enough to keep up with me. <laughs> Let's do it! Alma, you were fantastic. Thanks. I really do love dancing. Moving to the music makes me feel like I don't have a care in the world. I could tell. And did you notice? Everyone was watching. What? They were watching us dance? No, they were watching you. I don't think you'll have a problem finding someone to dance with anymore. In fact, they're going to be lining up for the chance. Wow, and I thought people would only respond to the way I dressed, or the color of my hair. That was silly, wasn't it? Well, yeah. You just had to show everyone the real Alma. And that's who you are when you're dancing. Confident, happy, free. Oh, much better than a potion any day. Thank you. Daniel, too. You're both good friends. I hope he didn't waste too much time brewing all those potions. Daniel might complain, but he's always happiest when he's hunched over a cauldron. Just like you on the dance floor. I am. In fact, I can't wait to get back. Go. And if you ever run out of dance partners, I'll be there. Kevin, I'm surprised to find you here. I thought you weren't a fan of Weasley's Wizard Weezers. I'm not. All these practical jokes make me uncomfortable. But Robin loves them, so... Very brave of you. I assume you're looking for a birthday gift. Yes. At the risk of playing a joke on myself, I decided to get her something she'd like. Do you have any suggestions? How about a nose-biting teacup? That sounds... dangerous. It is, for whoever's drinking the tea. 
I'll pass. Besides, I think she'd rather have something more explosive. Got it. How about a Weasley's fireworks box? Hmm. That does look decidedly dangerous. Ah, excellent choice, my young friend. One of our best sellers, and guaranteed to cause quite a commotion. How big of a commotion? Enormous. This box features a brilliant collection of fireworks that all explode violently if hit by a stunning spell and multiply if any attempt is made to vanish them. They're practically unstoppable. Robin will love that. Does sound rather terrifying, but weren't these banned at Hogwarts? Is that ban still in effect? Surely it's been lifted by now. Hmm, I don't know. Perhaps a free sample will seal the deal? Inside the shop. Is that wise? Only one way to find out. Go on, give it a try and see if this fireworks box is as explosive as you want it to be. Bangs. Inflators. Whiz bangs. Inflators. Whiz bangs. Inflators. 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 Uh, does it ever go out? Absolutely. Uh, eventually, I think. Actually, it's been a while since I lit one of these indoors. You two might want to clear out. But I haven't paid yet. On the house, kid. Just tell everyone where you got it. And say hi to Mr. Filch. Good luck. <laughs> 